Welcome to another video from Sportsplay Equipment Incorporated. In this video you will see the recommended maintenance procedures to properly care for merry-go-rounds. These steps are not overly complicated and should not take more than just a few minutes. Sportsplay manufactures several merry-go-rounds, a 6-foot, 8-foot, 10-foot, and a teacup merry-go-round. Playground owners are responsible for maintenance of the equipment and play area. A maintenance schedule must be developed and the equipment inspected frequently. Periodic inspections, maintenance repair, and replacement of damaged parts is necessary for the safe operation and use of the equipment. All sports play merry-go-rounds come with installation instructions. Refer to the maintenance section within the instructions that includes component-specific maintenance requirements. Merry-go-round units are designed for 12 inches of loose resilient surfacing. Wood mulch is the manufacturer's preferred material. Merry-go-rounds will not install on pour and place surfacing. The equipment will also not install over any other surfacing that is less than 12 inches high. Use of safety surfacing in compliance with ASTM specification F1292 is required. 12 inches of loose fill surfacing is required. Sportsplay recommends using a certified wood fiber or chips surfacing rather than sand or pea gravel primarily because wood will hold its shape better and is less likely to cause damage by getting caught inside the merry-go-round post, like sand or pea gravel is likely to do. Safety surfacing should be installed to a depth of 12 inches inside the use zone of the merry-go-round. You may slope the surfacing under the deck to the post to give access to the governor and grease fitting on the hub assembly. Equipment maintenance is critical for the safe operation of merry-go-rounds. Use and follow the inspection form located in the installation instructions. Each step really takes no more than 5 minutes. Grease merry-go-round weekly or daily in an environment that has sand or other small damaging materials. Inspect for loose or missing hardware. Tighten all loose hardware and replace all missing hardware. Block off access to equipment if necessary. Inspect all welds for cracks. If a crack is found, block access to your playground and contact your distributor for replacement parts immediately. Inspect governor weekly when greasing unit. Ensure all pieces are installed and secure. Ensure rubber wheel is in contact with the sleeve. If not, tighten by first backing off jam nut. Tighten adjustment bolt until wheel is in position and then tighten the jam nut. Inspect all metal components for finished coating damage. If powder coating needs to be repaired, sand surface and mask off area. Coat with primer and once the primer has dried, paint with color matching touch up paint. Contact distributor for thermoplastic repair kit.
refer to the surface maintenance sheet provided by your surfacing supplier. Inspect all footings to ensure equipment is secure. You must block access to prevent access until repair is made. Reference the parts list on page 2 of the instructions set to identify parts correctly. Contact your distributor to order replacement parts. Again, use the inspection form provided in the instructions. Document all maintenance actions on the list as well as any not listed. Be sure to include dates and signatures on your inspection form. If you have any questions, contact your distributor. Merry-go-rounds are among children's favorite play equipment on the playground. Be sure to keep your merry-go-round well maintained and operating safely at all times. Please visit us online at www.sportsplayinc.com.